What's up, YouTube? Got a yo-yo review to do today. This is my good buddy Brandon Pilardi's signature yo-yo with Yo-Yo Brothers. This is the Yo-Yo Brothers 7 Even. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, brothers. See? See? Yep, that's upside down. Anyway, so, Yo Yo Brothers, 7 Even. Uh, Brandon Pilardi is a friend of mine. He comes to our Yo Yo Club and he is a sponsor player with Yo Yo Brothers. And this is his signature Yo Yo, the 7 Even. So, I have been privileged enough to get to play the prototype right as that came out. And Brandon had has one of those and uh, loved it. And Brandon tweaked the prototype a little bit more, and uh, this is the final product. And I gotta say, this thing is incredible. Uh, it really, really is really good. It turned out extra special good. Uh, so Brandon really likes his uh, slack tricks. If you don't know, Brandon's Instagram is down in the description of this video. You're gonna go uh, want to follow Brandon. He's he's skills to beat uh, on Instagram. You're gonna want to follow him on Instagram. He's really good, and uh, his slack tricks are really good. And uh, he was kind of looking to design something that had a huge catch zone, but was also kind of light and maneuvered really, really well and maneuvered really, really easily. So you kind of get this very nice organic-ish rounded over V shape. And uh, it's pretty simple, but it's also pretty awesome. And uh, it really, really does a nice job complementing Brandon's style and just playing awesome in general. I really dug the... Uh, Look, the proto, like I said, but I think they really nailed it with the final version. So let's get into the specs. So diameter of this yo-yo is 57.88 millimeters, which is a pretty big diameter. Uh, the width is 43.6 millimeters, which is pretty average. Uh, gap width is 4.6 millimeters, so it's a little wider on the gap. I believe that was one of the original tweaks, uh, so Brandy could get more string wraps in there. And it weighs in at a very light 63.8 grams, but it doesn't play like super light. It plays nimble because it's light, but it doesn't like have low spin times or anything. Like, spin times are really good and it's really stable. So it's a really nice design in that regard. Um, standard size C center track bearing 19 millimeter response pads designed in the USA and according to Yo-Yo Expert made in China. I'm not entirely sure because I know some other Yo-Yo Brothers stuff uh, has been made in America. So I'm not certain uh, about that, but uh, you know, Whatever, maybe they did it in China so they could get them out there. Uh, 78 bucks, solid yo-yo, solid price. Uh, very premium, very cool. Comes uh, in this color. I like this green color very much, but it also comes in brown, comes in red, comes in blue. Uh, the brown is very cool too. But uh, seven even, very cool yo-yo. Uh, link to it down it for uh, the yo-yo expert down in the description. Um, so signature yo-yos are always kind of a weird thing to review because it's sort of tweaked by the player, and I know it's tweaked by the player because I know the player, and I know he tweaked it, and uh, this really does fit Brandon very well, and it's a really good yo-yo, too. Uh, if you like V-shapes, you're gonna like this yo-yo because it's sort of soft and nimble feeling, but at the same time, you get all those like performance aspects of the V-shape yo-yo, which is very cool, and uh, something that I know Brandon really wanted to achieve, and uh, I think he nailed it. So uh, definitely a really, really good yo-yo and a really good signature for a good friend of mine. So let's, uh, that's probably enough of me chattering on about it though. Let's go ahead and throw it around. I'll show you guys what this thing can do. Guys, we are back with the Yo-Yo Brothers 7 even. So uh, like I said, first thing you're gonna kind of notice is that this thing is super nimble and moves very quickly and easily through the strings. But it's got a lot of power. Like the big rims really kind of like give it a lot of power, like it feels powerful and it's very stable and it spins a long time. But it's really light and nimble, so you kind of get the best of both worlds. Uh, I really think that this is sort of the best possible weight distribution they could have achieved uh, with this yo-yo. Um, that being said, it is also a joy to play. It is not just some kind of like, you know, straight competition, boring yo-yo. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But this is an awesome yo-yo to play. Uh, the grind finish is superb. It's that super nice grind finish. Grinds forever. Nice shape for grinds too. And uh, just just really nice. Uh, binds really nice. No issues. Not snaggy. 
not slippy, just the right amount of bind, and we will take a look at the uh, response pads whenever we take it apart. Uh, there is a little bit of a thumb grind lip there. You can kind of catch it. Let me show you guys here. Yeah, easy to catch. Get all your thumb grind tricks in. Also adds that rim weight to give it some extra stability and what have you. So, uh, good thumb grind lip. There is sort of a little finger spin hub too. And uh, that little ridge around it really helps you kind of catch and center. Let me see if I can hit it. Oh yeah, like you really get good finger spins out of this thing. It's a really nice finger spin yo-yo without like being specifically designed. I mean, overall it's a good shape. Uh, I mean, it's hard not to like this V shape. You know what I mean? Like, they're so easy to use, so easy to catch. It's just hard not to like this V shape. And by kind of making it a lighter, nimble yo-yo, like with a sort of rounded inner cup, like you sort of almost get that like floatiness that you kind of get with organic yo-yos as well, just because of the cup design. But it's still very much like, it's still very much a competition yo-yo. And Brandon competes a little bit. He competed East Coast Masters, and uh, I think he's going to compete again. Maybe he'll even try his hand at uh, at Worlds next year when it's in Cleveland, because I know we're going to go. Because I want to go to Worlds, and I know you guys want to go to Worlds too. But I mean, this is kind of great for everything. There's really nothing this yo-yo can't do. Uh, you're going to have an easy time doing tech on it, as long as you don't smash it into your own hand. You're going to have an easy time going fast with it, because it's stable. And, uh, I mean, it's just a, it's just a nice yo-yo, man. It's a really nice yo-yo. Not snaggy. You can get those extra wraps in there. Just a good design overall. Uh, also, Brandon's had this for a while. This is one of his. And uh, it's still dead smooth. I mean, we were talking 10 out of 10 CLYW perfection-esque smooth. Uh, and it's been taken apart, and the bearing's been clean, and I think there's a ding in it probably, because it's Brandon's been playing the crap out of these. He just throws them in his pockets. It's great. So it not only is it great playing yo-yo, it holds up great. And... It's just, it's really good. It's just a really good yo-yo. It's really smooth. It's really nice. It's very premium feeling. So, uh, yeah, love it. And, uh, oh, it also rejects very well. There's nothing to get in your way of rejections at all. And uh, great binds, nice snappy tight binds. But uh, let's go ahead. We will stick it on the desk. I'll take it apart and uh, we'll, uh, we'll do pros and cons. Hey guys, we are back on the desk with the Yo-Yo Brothers 7, even. Let's take this bad boy apart. This is Yo-Yo Brothers' third or fourth release. All right, so let's take a look at it here. As you can see, not a ton going on here, just kind of V straight up to the uh, response pads. It uses those sort of clear silicone pads that uh, I'm always like, these are great pads. And... Uh, it's, they're, they're great. They work good. Um, let's see here. Uh, it's a little bit, it's kind of hard to see, but like this isn't a straight edge. Like this is just rounded over ever so slightly there. So you don't get that weird click sound as if, it, if you miss and it drags along the uh, side. Uh, so you don't really get any string drag at all with this. It does horizontal stuff very, very well. Um, you saw my finger spin and it, this cup really works a lot better than it even looks. It's very easy to hit and very easy to lock in. You don't even feel the engraving. Uh, this might be one of those engravings that like is sort of like not, it's, not, it's like not gritty. Like all you feel is the blast, which is excellent. Um, came apart nice. Uh, the axle is decently long despite how, uh, despite how, how this, uh, this works. I think the axle goes all the way. So I think the entire inside is used up by the axle, which is good. Um, that keeps it nice and smooth in my estimation. It goes back together very nice as well. Um, doesn't feel like it's going to strip or anything. And, uh, I mean, overall, just a good shape. Very simple shape. Uh, keep it simple, stupid. The cup shape's very cool. Uh, I like the way the rim kind of bends in a little bit. kind of concaves, and then you kind of get this almost organic interior here. Uh, just overall a nice design, and, uh, Brandon's a good player and, and a good friend of mine. So, uh... Very happy to be reviewing his yo-yo with Yo-Yo Brothers. 
because uh, uh, he deserves it because he's a cool dude and uh, came up with a cool yo-yo design. So let's do pros and cons. Pros, um, great design. You're going to be able to do anything you want with this. Uh, nice and light. I feel like light is good, especially with V-shaped yo-yos like this, but it's not It's not vibey. It's not unstable. It's, it's really stable, nice and long spinning, but also light at the same time. And I feel like there's sort of a... There's a balance there that you have to hit to be able to do that, and uh, I think this does it perfectly. Uh, feels very powerful. The big rims uh, accommodate that, so very powerful yo-yo, long spinning. Uh, great grind finish. I mean, they just really, like, this emerald green really looks good with it, too. It's very, it pops very well, and it's just a great grind finish overall. So very good finish on the yo-yo. Great for finger spins, although not necessarily directly designed for them. Uh, that cup works wonderfully and uh, also gives it a nice weight distribution as well. And, I mean, just really, this is kind of just a joy to play. Uh, there's really nothing it can't do well. Uh, the only con, I mean, not necessarily even a con. Yo-Yo Brothers stuff always tends to be kind of pricey, but uh, I think you get what you pay for. So, uh, I wouldn't necessarily put this into the budget category, but uh, it's a solid player and uh, definitely something to check out. Uh, I, I, think the, I, I think it's well worth the price. And, uh, you know, I think that it's an awesome yo-yo for uh, an awesome dude and an awesome player. So you want to check out all the links down in the description. Uh, make sure you follow Brandon on Instagram. He's generally using this yo-yo and uh, just, just slaying with it because he's a really good player. And uh, I really like his Instagram. It's always really cool. Brandon's a cool guy, too. Uh, I know him personally. Like I said, funny dude. Awesome to hang out with. And uh, awesome yo-yo player as well. So, uh, you know, what, what's, what's not to love? But uh, that's going to do it for me today, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers to you. I'll see you next time.